Hey YouTube, this is Snipe. I'm gonna start calling myself Snipe instead of Gun Snipe now, but as beside the point. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about Microsoft's newest con. Oh wait, I can't call it a console since since they're uh since they're unveiled yesterday. Was it? Yeah, it was yesterday. Some people may call it a console, but a gaming console, but no. The next, the new Xbox, what is called Xbox One. Now, the name itself is going to be confusing as all hell to people who just started gaming. They're going to think, oh, this is the very first Xbox. No, it's not. It's called Xbox. Why is it called Xbox One? Were they were they trying to be clever instead of calling it like the number one, but saying W O N like one, like they want something? Yeah, they want something, all right. One and they want something in utter failure. I mean, I unfortunately I didn't see, I didn't watch the unveil yesterday because I was sleeping, and I could give two shits about it since it's Microsoft. But. What were they thinking? Honestly, calling it Xbox One. I mean, it would have been more presentable if they kept, if they would have called it Durango, X, like Xbox Durango. Yeah, that sounds cool. That's I mean not cool, but okay. Xbox 720, clever, or Xbox Infinity. One of those three names I would have I would have chosen, and it would have been fine. But Xbox One. Give me a fucking break, Microsoft. That name sounds stupid. It sounds like you're trying to make the original Xbox, the very first one that competed with the PS2, sound irrelevant and saying that your next-gen system is the very first one, where, where it's actually number three in your line, and it's the predecessor to the 360. Now, I looked. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like I said, I didn't see the con the conference, but I went and looked up the specs to the next Xbox. And I gotta say, that's p the 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 specs to the Xbox. The I'm gonna. You know what? Screw the name. I'm just gonna call it a 720. Fuck. Fuck it. Say, fuck saying it's the Xbox One or whatever. It's a 720. That's what it is. Um. The specs to the 720, in comparison to the PS4, are not too close similar. I mean, they are similar in terms of chipsets, but RAM speeds. You're looking at they both have eight gigs of RAM. Okay, that's an even, but it's the type of chips they're using. The Xbox 720 is using DDR3, which, it, which if you look at it a computerized standard, that's obsolete now. Cause now you got chip, now you got RAM chips that are DDR5 and up, it's especially towards PCs. Sony pretty much beat Microsoft in this part, cause they're using GDDR5, which, when which when you look at it, it's 5500 megahertz. Of power. Now, uh, so I'm having a little brain fart here. <laughs> um, in terms of graphics, they then, they, in terms of graphics, the PS4 trumps it again because it it has more, it uses more teraflops than the 720, but not, but it's gonna be like this much of a difference that you won't be able to see it. Um, what else? They both gonna have Blu-ray drives. We don't know how much space is gonna be in the PS4 yet because they didn't specify that in their fr in their February unveil. But Microsoft, what were they fucking thinking of designing the Xbox the 720 with a non-removable hard drive? Haven't they learned this gen? that whatever bullshit crap that you buy off the network whether it's PSN, the Wii U network or the Xbox Live marketplace 
whatever shit you buy off the network is going to take up hard drive space. And that 500 gig hard drive is going to fill up quick. I'm going to elaborate more later in, later in a little while. Let's see, they both have HD on my puts. They could both do 4K resolution, which I don't see nobody buying a 4K TV anytime soon since they're too expensive right now. Um, they both have USB ports, the newest 3.0 USB ports, which are motherfucking fast. And that's pretty much the similarities of the system. Now here's the huge differences. My, Microsoft pretty much came to the gate saying, in a technical sense, this is not full blown, but this is in a technical sense, that the Xbox 720 will require to be online all time at all times. Not in a 24 hour sense, like you, when you turn the system on, it's gotta, it's gotta be, have, it's gotta, it's gotta have an internet connection regardless. That's what they're saying. Whatever you you can play a multiplayer or a single player game. You have and doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if 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 the if it's single player or multiplayer. You have to have an internet connection regardless. What they what this means is is that the console and the servers have to. The, basically, the the servers have to contact the console once a day, once every 24 hours, and see if the system hasn't been hacked, jailbroken, modded, whatever, to make sure it's still a legit system. I don't know what they'll do. Maybe they'll perma ban the system if it's hacked or what. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, the system having to be online all the nearly all the time is bullshit in its own right because I like sometimes I will yeah sometimes I would like to play offline but not having to have to use the internet to say yeah I'm offline don't bother me let's see what else use games Sony I mean not Sony but Microsoft pretty much said fuck you to the to the used game market yeah they pretty much flipped the middle finger saying fuck you basically the 720 can play used games, but here's the big but, the big ass in the room. Saying it pretty much said, states that if you were to buy a game, an a, a Xbox 720 game, and you put it in your system, it oh yeah, here's another thing: mandatory installs. What the fuck, really? Yeah. You get a game, you put it in the system, it downloads the entire game from the disk to the hard drive. Like seriously, what the fuck? But again, I'm going to elaborate elaborate that on more. So he, so let me go back to what I was saying. You go, you buy the game, you install the game into the onto the hard drive, and you register a code. Yes, the the 720 games will have a code, a one-time only code that you that you have to use. To register that said game, whether it's single player only or multiplayer only games, to Xbox's server clouds. You register that game and it works fine on your system. But let's just say you bring that same game to a friend's house. They have a 720. And you want to let them borrow that game. So they put the game in their system. They start downloading it. Once it's download, once the download is complete, they go and start the game. The, the system says, "Hold up, hold, hold that, hold the fuck up, dude." Yeah, hold, hold the fuck up. This is not your game. This is some someone else bought this game, and if you want to pay, and if you want to play this game, you gotta pay us a fee. And I just looked up online not too long ago before I started doing this video. And they pretty much said that, uh, I think it's Harrison, I don't know, some guy from Microsoft basically said, you want to play this game? Fine. Pay a fee. And the fee could be going up to as much as this whole, and I ain't bullshitting you, bull, and I ain't bullshitting this, going up to exactly $60. The exact same amount for a game. Like, again, what the fuck? Why are you doing this, Microsoft? Seriously. Nobody in their right mind 
will want to buy a will want to borrow a game and having to pay 60 bucks for a for a new licensing fee for a new license to play that same game on their system. Now I know some some Microsoft fanboys are gonna rant on this video, and I don't care. I'm just stating. I'm just saying what I'm just pointing my I'm just putting my two cents on it. Uh, now let's get back to the hard drive. They basically gonna give you a 500 gigabyte hard drive. But the problem with that with that is that nowadays 500 gigs isn't much in terms of what you can of what you're trying to pull. Oh, well, basically, what you're pulling here. I mean, now that the the games that will be coming out will be bigger than what they were what they are this gen. I mean, if you look, I mean, look at some of the look at some of Sony's exclusives. Uh, God of War 3 was pretty much 40 gigs on a dual air Blu-ray disc, and you even had Metal Gear Solid 4, which was over 50 gigs on the on the Blu-ray disc, and it had to be compressed and then installed on the hard drive just to run it right. So now now Microsoft is saying you have to install the game on your hard drive no matter what. They, so yeah, it's fun to have the disc, but once you install the game on the disc it's pretty much useless. And uh yeah, the hard drive on the on the 720 is non-removable. Not like this gen where you can take the hard drive out and and swap it in with an up and swap it in with an upgraded drive. Like the 360, you have to buy its own proprietary hard drives. Whereas the PS3, you can buy any two and a half millimeter uh, laptop hard drive and slap it in, and it'll run. And oh yeah, 720. The 720 is nothing more than an over glorified. DVR. I mean, the over. I mean, yeah, a a DVR. Seriously, why the fuck would I need a DVR if I if I either have one or don't want one? They pretty much. They, from what I saw, from what I saw and heard, or in read online, is that it's all about entertainment. Yeah, gaming is part of entertainment, but as I said, Microsoft is giving the middle finger to the gamer. They're pretty much making the Xbox One the overall entertainment hub. Like they're pretty much taking over. They're pretty much want to take over the uh, living room from day one on the original Xbox, and they might do it here, but giving the middle finger to the gamers in general. You're pretty much alienating your whole entire market base, Microsoft. What else? There was something else. I, I just thought of it. Damn it. Well, and the, then there's the controllers for the three for the 720. It looks like not, it looks like an uh, glorified an over glorified 360 controller. It's like they just painted it flat black. Stuck uh incre and like raise the bump the shoulder buttons up a bit and slap the Xbox logo button right on top right there. And from what I read they also took out the uh, headphone jack where you hook up your headphone your headset to it. They took that out and from what I saw it, was, it looked like they, and it looks like they got wise enough instead of having the battery pack hanging hanging off of it. Not much hanging hanging but you know what I mean. It's like integrated into the controller, but it's still a battery pack. You have to swap it out. Now, like I said, I know a lot of 360 fanboys are gonna r piss and moan about what I said on this video. And like I said, I don't care. It's my opinions. They don't like it. Go watch something else. Sorry, I got a sneeze, but it won't come out. <laughs> uh, shit, what else? What I was gonna say. Controller. I mean, the heart. Yeah. In turn, I mean, Microsoft pretty much dropped the ball big time with this unveil. And I know a lot of you 360 fanboys said, "Wait till E3. Wait till E3. You're gonna see a lot of shit from Microsoft, dude. Hold the phone about Microsoft in E3. 
we've seen the past in the past three plus years Microsoft dropping the ball at E3 time and time again they're losing exclusives the only exclusives they got I mean true exclusives you can't call Left 4 Dead a, a true exclusive on a 360 since you can play it on a fucking PC I mean you got they got Halo which by the way they did and they did announce Halo at their press conference yesterday but as a fucking TV show no thanks and you can only be able to watch it on the new on you would be able to watch it only on the next on the Xbox 720 or you log on the Xbox's website what or what the fuck ever um they announced that Halo show they showed off Forza 5 and I think that's it Forza 5 and another exclusive but of but other than Halo Forza uh Gears of War and they also and they said 15 other IP new IPs are coming to the Xbox but that's that's to me that's too that's not enough I mean you're pretty Microsoft you pretty much set yourself right here whereas Sony setting themselves up here Con making your console as an entertainment hub is a bad idea really bad uh... oh yeah the 720 three operating systems in it it's gonna have the xbox one operating system and it and it's gonna have the windows 8 kernel which is already an automatic automatic fail i mean windows 8 in general i mean yeah you, if you saw a video i had i done a video like a couple of years back about my up uh, my i'm just gonna use this like my uh my Windows 7 free upgrade disc I got from Dell when I got my my, my laptop and how I said that the keys were all fucked and stu how they set up the product keys uh security was stupid as all hell um yeah my yeah Microsoft's putting Windows 8 in this in this thing that well not entirely just a kernel so that they can run whatever and and there's a third operating system. They didn't specifically say what it was, but it desi it's designed to glue the all the other two together. How is this gonna work? And I have no idea, but I do know for the fact that having three operating systems running at the same time is not a good idea. Windows 8, I mean Windows 8 kernel and the Xbox and the mysterious operating system running run, running at the same time is a bad idea because you're putting a heavy burden on the system itself now keep in mind the system has 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM I guarantee you that those three operating systems together is gonna eat up that RAM it's you're probably looking at I don't know what four five gigs of RAM being used up by the three operating systems so, so te in a technical sense while that five gigs are being reserved for the operating systems alone, you only got three gigs to play with. Whereas Sony's got eight gigs of GDDR5 RAM on their P on the PS4, and from what I from what I'm seeing, it's only going to be using one gig of RAM of that for its uh, for the operating system, and leaving you only seven gigs of RAM, of RAM to play with. Okay, that's that's better than what Xbox is is showing is is presenting. Um, oh yeah, another thing, connect. Excuse me, hang on. Alright. The new connect. What the fuck is that thing that... I mean, even I have to say that the oh, the, the very first connect looks, looks, looks great, looks better than, than what they designed for the, uh, for the 720. I mean... They designed the set the 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 it's called the Connect 2 to be an integral part of the system. Now what this means is that you cannot disconnect this, this the camera from the 720 and and you cannot disconnect the the Connect 2 from the 720 and still be able to play it. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to keep it running. You have to keep the the Connect 2 hooked up to the Xbox One at all times no matter what. Given the given the the phrase Big Brother's watching you to a whole new level. 
I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be. I don't want to be. If I if now keep in mind, I don't own an Xbox. In general, I really don't like Microsoft when it came to the consoles. I mean, I don't like them now with Windows 8, but you, you get the idea. Uh. <coughs> I mean, it's just, it's just borderline disturbing having Microsoft watching you when you play Xbox, on the Xbox One, and, or watching a movie, even if it could be a porno movie, so you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you, yeah, and you're watching a porno from the DVR on the Blu-ray or whatever, and you, you don't want Microsoft to watch you, you know, doing your business. But you know they're gonna do it. They've done it in the past. Now that's not saying if Sony is gonna do it with the with the with their new version of the PlayStation I for the PS4. But who knows? Again, my, uh, Sony did not go into full detail in their February unveil. Ne nor did they show the system. They're saving it for E3, which is a good move. Unlike Microsoft did, they showed their console from the get-go at their unveil yesterday which by the way if you look at the damn console itself you know what it reminds me you know what it reminds me of <laughs> that it reminds me of this a VCR uh, and if you don't know in <laughs> and if you're too young to know what a VCR is it plays tapes no, I don't have a tape in there it plays video cassette tapes that's what the Xbox 720 reminds me of reminds me of it 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 looks like a damn VCR Betamax. Uh, yeah, VCR Betamax, old school crap. I mean, that thing looks. The overall design of the system does not look aesthetically presentable. I mean, if you gave it curves or whatnot, then maybe. But no. I mean, if you want to hear more about the 720, just go look it up on YouTube, or better yet. I'll put, uh, you can, I'm gonna post like a link to another YouTuber in the descriptions below. Actually, I'm gonna do two. One is called Alpha Omega Sin. He does a tremendous rant on the, uh, on Microsoft 720's console unveil and, and the seventh level. I'm sure you heard of him if you're, if you've been keeping tabs on the whole console war bullshit with the PS3 and the 360. How 7th and another guy named General MLD went at it at the height of the console war. Of this gen's console war. So I'm going to post, I'm going to link their their YouTube pages to this video. So you guys can see about it. See what they say about it, actually. I mean, I, may, I just talked about a good, uh, like a little bit of it. But Alpha Omega Sin... He talked. He pretty much gave Xbox a new asshole. And so did the seventh level. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean. Microsoft. They pretty much shot themselves in the ass. In the foot. In the head. And in the heart. On this unveil alone. It's bad enough that. Computer. Manufacturers are hating. Windows 8. But now that you got Xbox One coming out and it's running on its own operating system and Windows 8, you are ba you're basically you're basically kicking out use the used game market unless you pay a fee for it. You do have on always online in a technical sense every once every 24 hours, and you got Microsoft spying on you with the Connect too. I don't see them lasting long. I really don't. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But to me, Microsoft is becoming the next Sega. Now, I know there's a lot of Sega dudes out there that are going to be pissing and moaning. Sorry. But pissing and moaning about this, about this comment. But, hey, it's my opinion. I, hey, I grew up in the 90s. I played, my uncle had a Sega Genesis. And I played on it. So, yeah, I even have his old Sega CD in the closet. I just don't have the Genesis anymore. And it was a Model 1 Genesis. Um, but yeah, I don't see... If Microsoft... Microsoft has one more chance at E3 
to pull something out of their war-torn, blown-out ass over this unveil already. And I know they're getting a lot of... I know... I know a lot of fans... I know a lot of fans are just dropping the bomb on Microsoft right now. I mean, I went on Yahoo and all this sh and all the other games. Yahoo News and, like, Kotaku, IGN, game trailers, all those game... all those gaming sites in particular and there's a lot of people that are so pissed off about Microsoft in their in the Xbox One that they're jumping ship yeah some of these people have been hardcore Xbox fans since the original Xbox not Xbox One the original one not paying two shits about the PS2 and the PS3 staying with Microsoft since they came out with the first system and now are saying they're gonna jump ship and go to their PS4 Say, come on. Um, oh yeah, there was one other thing. I just, I, it just came back to me. The Xbox One is not going to be indie, in, independent, developer friendly. No. <coughs> it's pretty much gonna, it's pr as much as said as much as much as they gave the middle finger to the used gamer market. They pretty much gave a middle another middle finger to the indie developing market. They pretty you, in order to to put a an indie game on the network on their network, you have to go. They have to go through third party channels, like third party developers, just to go through, just to get the okay to put their game on this the on Xbox Marketplace, which is bullshit to begin with. I mean, you pretty much saying okay, you want your indie game to be on our on our system fine but you have to have a third party developer to help you out no whereas Microsoft or not Microsoft but Sony and Nintendo pretty much have opened their pretty much opened their arms and welcoming indie developers to their systems and if an in, and when an indie developer makes a game for their for PS4 and the Wii and the Wii U it goes directly to the PS store a Wii U store What's the problem with that with Microsoft? They just like to finger bang, just like to finger bang you up the ass all the fucking time. Like finger bang, 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 bang. I don't know. It's the end for Microsoft. They, like I said, E3 is their last chance, and if they, and if history serves that over, like they did the past three years. Talking about nothing but we, uh, not we, but connect crap left and right, left and right, yada yada yada. I mean, it's bad enough. Microsoft's got Rare, one of the best developers in the 90s, making Wii games. I mean, not Wii games, but Connect games. That's horseshit. I mean, I'm so, I feel bad for that comp that developer company. I mean, they got a lot of good shit like Killer Instinct, and uh, they could they could very well remade uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day or some shit like that. And make it good. I mean, that that's not saying they might do it. They might remake Killer Instinct for those for the for the Xbox One. But the way Microsoft's going, they're not gonna do it. They don't care. They just want that money, and they're gonna get it from the hardcore fanboys to the idiots who who didn't who didn't see the video, who didn't see the conference, and they're gonna buy it for their little kids because it's the next big thing. And they're not gonna read about how it's limiting your purchases when it comes to used games. Now, the one thing I'm concerned about the PS4 is the pricing because the GDDR5 RAM is gonna cost them an arm and a leg. It's more powerful, but then it's more expensive. So I'm gonna be watching my Sony carefully when it comes to pricing, because. Let's just face it, if they price a the thing at five ninety nine like they did with the PS three, I might as well just sit this the next gen now like everybody else. I mean my PS three's been running well this new one's been running for ten no uh, uh, from ten to eleven, I don't know twelve. About three years. And it's been running fine. But yeah. That's my take on it. I'll see you next time.